Good evening, everyone. My name is Kevin Goralchak, and I'm the principal of Michigan City High School. And I'd like to welcome you all this evening to our distinguished ceremony to recognize the top, the very best of Michigan City High School students. This evening, we will be recognizing our students and a teacher. Each student will receive a framed medallion and each teacher will be receiving an engraved bell in honor of this evening's ceremony. These are the top students of the class of 2020 from Michigan City High School. And we are honored here that you are with us to recognize them. During this ceremony, you will hear our students talk about their teacher and the teacher talk about the student. Again, I welcome you to, into Michigan City High School and thank you again for joining us. Our first student this evening is Connor Baker. His selected educator is Mark Mars. My name is Connor Baker. My parents are Amy and Tim Baker. I am going to be attending Wabash College majoring in biology and also swimming. My distinguished educator I chose was Mr. Mars and I chose him because I had him for the first time this year for physics and he taught me a lot and he's just a really cool guy. Hello, my name is Mark Mars. I am the science department chair at Michigan City High School. I have known Connor Baker this entire school year. He is a student in my chemistry two and AP physics classes. It's a rarity for a student to take two classes with me. It makes for a rough year. Yet Connor has excelled. He is always prepared, his homework is done, and he frequently leads class discussions. The interaction Connor has with his classmates in AP Physics as they tackle a difficult problem is the textbook example of engagement. Connor is also a varsity swimmer. He is a team leader and a gifted and dedicated athlete. His competitive spirit and work ethic is what high school athletics is all about. Connor is also a personable young man who is easy to talk to. I feel honored to have met and have mentored Connor Baker. The next student is Aaliyah Briggs. Her selected educator is Jeff Rochwack. Hi, my name is Aaliyah Briggs. My parents are Sarah and Chris Jones. I will be attending Rose Holman Institute of Technology in the fall studying civil engineering. The distinguished teacher I picked this year is Jeffrey Rochwack. And I picked him because every day I got to go in his classroom and talk to him on not only an academic level, but also on a personal level. He has always been someone I can go to for help. He always is someone who makes me laugh and will always cheer me up. And he genuinely cares for every single one of his students. Anytime we have a question or we need help on a project, he encourages peer collaboration and he is just someone that you can always turn to. So thank you so much, Jeff Rochwack. Hi, my name is Jeff Rochwack, and I was selected by Aaliyah Briggs. Aaliyah, congratulations, as I can't find anybody I'm more happy for and deserving of this award. But first of all, I would like to thank you, as I am honored that you selected me to be a part of your special day. So why did I think that Aaliyah is most deserving? I go, first of all, she's a student athlete. This year, as a senior, she would have been on the varsity volleyball and track teams. And we all know that she should have been on the basketball team, but I'm not gonna bring that up with her now. But many of our distinguished graduates are also in extracurricular activities such as sports, um, drama club, other clubs and activities. But there's one other characteristic that sets Aaliyah apart from everybody else. It's her vision. She has the vision to be able to create something in her head, to be able to put it down on paper, but then to be able to build it and complete it with her hands and bring it to fruition. And that's something that everybody just doesn't have that ability to do. And she's very special when it comes to that. I'd like to congratulate Rose Holman, um, their engineering program and also their volleyball program, because since Aaliyah decided to go there, they've all got better and even stronger. I wanna wish Aaliyah the best of luck, but Aaliyah doesn't need luck. She's gonna be successful in whatever she chooses to do. So I want her to reach for the stars. I want her to exceed all her goals. I'm excited about seeing how she does over this next year, over her four-year college, uh, and even to see which pathway she chooses to go once she completes her engineering degree. Aaliyah, I'm always here for you. I'm a phone call and email away, whether you need anything or as simple as just another peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Congratulations. 
Our next student is Hannah Chambers. Her selected educator is Joan Stewart. Hi, my name is Hannah Chambers. I'm the daughter of Tim and Chris Chambers. I plan on attending Valparaiso University in the fall and majoring in nursing. I chose Ms. Stewart, my math teacher, as my distinguished teacher because she always helps out her students and she'll put in the extra time to come after school and before school. And I'm bad at math, but somehow I managed to get through it by having her as a teacher. So thank you, Ms. Stewart, for everything you taught me. Hi, my name is Joan Stewart, and I'm here um, with Hannah Chambers. Um, I want to thank her for inviting me. Um, I've had the pleasure of having her in class for several years, uh, most recently in AP Calculus. Um, she's a very responsible, hardworking student who pushes herself to excel. She's in my classroom at 6.30 in the morning many days, especially on a test day, just to make sure she has everything down to the last detail. She'll ask for extra work to make sure she's got it right. She brings other students with her and encourages them to do the same thing. Um, typically, on a daily basis, when she comes to my room, she's like a ray of sunshine. She always has a positive attitude and stays focused, which by eighth hour, after AP classes all day, to hit AP Calc eighth hour is not an easy thing to do. Um, she's always willing to help other students, um, and she's been a star in this virtual learning. We finished up the basics of calculus before that, and virtual learning was doing AP problems. Those are hard to do in a group setting, and she managed to get every one of them in as soon as I put them up without complaining. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to have her as a student these last few years, and I know she's gonna be successful in whatever she chooses to do. Our next student is Dasani Cleveland. Her selected educator is Dion Campbell. My name is Dasani Cleveland, and my parents' names are Shauna Aldridge and Anthony Cleveland. I'll be attending Indiana University Bloomington in the fall, majoring in criminal justice. I chose Chief Officer Campbell to be my distinguished educator because he kept me on a focused route from all four years in high school and I felt like any time that I needed uh, a word of advice, he was there. Hi, I'm Dion Campbell and I'm so honored to be here on behalf of Dasani Cleveland. Dasani, you know how I feel about you. We've been through so much and a lot of people don't know this, but I've known you since you were a child and your growth and development has been absolutely phenomenal. To me, you're a very, very special person in that you're not only athletic, but you're also academically inclined. And I've watched you grow. The thing I love about you is that you have an ability to work through problems and issues, and your leadership abilities are phenomenal. One of the greatest things that I love about you are the many sessions that we've had counseling, when you make a mistake, own up to it, and then you'd grow and get better. And I think one of the most phenomenal times was when I had some students in my office and everything that we had talked over um, in recent years, you were the one that actually led that student through their issues. You talked to them, you counseled them, you brightened them and encouraged them. And I think that's what the, the contribution that you're going to bring to this world. You're a special bright star, make an impact. I'm proud of you. You are free to be great, Dasani. I love you. Our next student is Brianne Cushway. Her selected educator is Sarah Krasinski. My name is Brianne Cushway. I am the daughter of Mike and Amy Cushway. In the fall, I plan on attending Valparaiso University where I will major in biology. My distinguished educator is Mrs. Krasinski and I chose her because no matter how tough a day she was having, she always had a smile on her face. Hi, I'm Sarah Krasinski. Um, I have been honored to have been chosen as Brie Cushway's educator for the 2020 Virtual Distinguished Program. I have enjoyed watching Brie grow into a beautiful, smart, and fun young lady. Brie has helped manage my softball team for many years and has been a great peer tutor in the intense interventions class, which I teach. Brie is always willing to take on a new challenge. 
She's kind, sweet, respectful, and has been very, very helpful to her peers in the class. Bree has a very special gift. I'm very sad to see her go, but I'm very excited to see all of the good things that she's going to do. Our next student is Donye Duenas. Her selected educator is Ashley Koza. Hi, my name is Donya Duenas. I'm daughter of David and Veronica Duenas. I will be attending Indiana University Bloomington in the fall. I plan to major in biology. I chose Ashley Koza for my distinguished educator. Um, she's very, she's a very cool person, very easy to talk to, which really helps in the classroom because none of the students have to feel judged by the questions that they want to ask. She's so sweet. She has the kindest heart and I just wish her the best. She's amazing. Hi, I am Ashley Koza and I am honored to be chosen by Danya Duenas as her distinguished educator. Um, I have had the pleasure of teaching Danya this year in my Spanish 4 class and there are many things that I could say about her, but I think the one first impression of her that I have in my mind is I am a first year teacher. So anybody's first year and especially first day in the classroom can be incredibly intimidating. And I knew from the very first moment that Danya was a student that I could depend on or that I knew would go with the flow and not have to worry about making mistakes or making errors or anything like that. Um, as I got to know Danya throughout the year, I was able to see that she was an incredible student athlete and she obviously is a wonderful student in general. She's very studious and wise for her age and she was also the co-president of our Spanish club, so I knew that she was very dedicated in her community. But as I got to know Danya more personally, I realized that she has faced a lot of things that many of her peers can't even imagine facing. And despite anything that was thrown at her this year, she would walk into my classroom every single day with a smile and say, you know, hi, senorita, and just go about her day as if nothing had happened. And that is something that I personally learned from Danya because that's hard for people to do. Um, she is one incredibly unique young lady. She is kind and passionate and caring and wise and so incredibly helpful. So it's an absolute honor to be chosen by her and I can't wait to see where her life takes her. Our next student is Devin Gassaway. The selected educator is Ashley Kohler. My name is Devin Gasway. My parents are Gina Gasway and Matt Hoskins. In the fall, I'm attending IUPUI in hopes for a bachelor of psychology and then to continue on to medical school and dreams of becoming a psychiatrist. Uh, my distinguished educator is Ms. Kohler because I felt like she helped me with a lot of college decisions and like she pretty much was there for me for whatever I needed. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kohler. The student who picked me as his distinguished educator is Devin Gasway. I have known Devin and his family for over 10 years. When I first met Devin, he was eight. He was an adorable little eight-year-old trying to find his place in this crazy world. He was always earning principal's honors at St. Stan's and just standing out above the rest. Fast forward to high school. He transferred from Marquette after his freshman year and continued to shine as expected. Devin comes from one of the most supportive, loving and educated families whom I respect immensely and I know their commitment to all of their children is a factor why Devin is at the top. Devin is kind and compassionate and never gives up. I am beyond honored to be in his life and I will continue to support him in his dream to be a psychologist. So proud of you, Devin, you amaze me. Our next student is Caden Glenn. The selected educator is Sue Cleveland. My name is Caden Glenn. Uh, my parents' names are Jackie Teeters and David Teeters. I'm planning on attending Purdue West Lafayette for physics. Hopefully I can work at NASA at some point. Uh, my distinguished graduate teacher is Mrs. Cleveland. I chose her just because I started taking art classes because they were required. Um, and she actually made them fun. So I started taking more and she kept encouraging me to try new things inspired me to start like painting on my own and stuff. Hi, my name is Sue Cleveland and I'm honored to have been invited by Caden Glenn. Caden was in my advanced cl art class this year um, and the first project he wanted to do was to build a 
the body of a life-size guitar out of clay. So I thought, oh, this is going to be challenging. And I probably tried to talk him out of it. But he, uh, he got his way. And although it was challenge, challenging, he figured it out. And by the end of the semester, he had built the body of a life-size guitar out of clay. Second semester. He told me one day that he would like to try to paint. He'd never painted before, but he wanted to try. So I thought, um, well, this is going to be challenging. And I probably tried to talk him out of it. Um, and then I gave him his supplies. And we'll say that first painting was a little bit of a struggle for all of us. But he worked hard. He started over a lot. But he got it exactly how he wanted it. I don't know why I was surprised when he asked me for another canvas. Uh, I think it was three or four paintings later, I thought, oh, I guess he's serious about this. So Caden is going to go to Purdue to major in physics. And well, that will be a challenge as well. But I know that without a doubt, Caden is going to succeed. I had another thought. I thought, artist, guitar, physicist thought, oh, he could be the next Brian May of his generation. Well, you never know. Just don't try to talk him out of it. Congratulations, Caden, on all of your achievements. Go get him. Our next student is Nicholas Gashrowski. His selected educator is Jeff Edinger. My name is Nicholas Gashrowski. My parents are Kathleen and Jerry Gashrowski. I am planning on attending the University of Evansville and majoring in civil engineering and minoring in landscape architecture. My distinguished educator is Jeff Edinger. He is, was my golf coach for four years, was supposed to be the spring. Um, and he coached me through all four years. He helped me win two sectional medalists. He was a big part of my success in my high school career. And I'm sure I gave him a, a moment to remember on eight green at Sandy Pines. Hi there, my name is Jeff Edinger and I am the currently the Michigan City um, High School boys golf coach. Um, I've uh, known Nick since sixth grade when I was his middle school golf coach. Um, I could tell right away at an early age uh, that Nick was going to be very special. Uh, he came from a great family. He was very intelligent. He had a great work ethic and was a very talented golfer. Uh, fast forward to high school uh, where I decided to become the head golf coach, uh, mostly because of the relationship that I developed with Nick. Um, and wanting to be a part of his high school career. Um, and looking back on that career now, uh, I definitely made the right choice. Uh, Nick won um, all DAC accolades multiple times, um, multiple sectional championships, and made multiple state finals appearances as well. You, you learn a lot about somebody when you travel thousands of miles with them and you uh, walk about what I calculated to be about a thousand holes of golf. Um, but there'll forever be a few things uh, that Nick and I couldn't quite come to agreement on. Uh, those things being that punching it out and playing it safe is sometimes the best way to go, not how he saw it. Uh, Tiger Woods being the greatest golfer of all time, not how he saw it. Uh, and the University of Michigan Athletics being the best in the Big Ten, not how I saw it. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, it's unfortunate that he didn't get to put a cap on his senior season the way that he wanted to, but he will still go down in the Michigan City record books for being one of the most decorated golfers to come through the program. I wish him the best of luck next year, and I know that wherever he goes, we'll be very lucky to have him, and they'll be getting a great young man. That's a total package. Thanks. Our next student is Alexandria Hahn. Her selected educator is Sugawa Sensei. My name is Alexandria Hahn. My parents are Gina and Lauren Hahn. I will be attending Ansola College in the fall, majoring in behavioral science. My educator is Sagawa Sensei. He always kept me on track all four years of high school, as well as he always seemed like he cared about me, and he always made sure he was involved in my life and somehow, and he always asked me how I was doing with my bowling career. Konnichiwa, I'm Tsugawa Sensei, and I had the honor of being chosen by Alex Han. And I am completely unsurprised that you have made it to where you have. Um, I'm a little surprised to be the one talking about you. 
Um, you do such an incredible variety of things. Uh, there are many, many educators and teachers who've had a hand in your life. Um, and you needed so little for me. I felt like I was just a spectator, but I am deeply and distinctly honored. Um, there are a couple of problems. One, I couldn't get a haircut. Two, my hair is pink. And three, they told me I have one minute to talk about you. Um, so if you wonder what you look like condensed down to a note card, it looks like this. Um, I want to thank you for the joy and creativity you've brought to four years of Nihongo. Um, there's a lot of drills and thankless tasks, and you did all of them with a smile. You also did them all your own way. Um, I've got a lot of high-flying students in my past and in my career, but I also have a lot of jaded and kind of grind type of kids. Uh, you are not them. You truly make what you do your own. Um, I was stunned by how many different things you did that I didn't know about. I was a little ashamed of that. Um, as a person, I've seen you go forward even when you're uncertain about whether you're good enough, whether the timing is right, you push forward and your courage is truly your greatest strength. Um, I would not be surprised by just about any career choice you made. And I'm excited to have a, had a hand in even a small part of your arc. You're going to do great things. You're going to change people. And I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Yonenkan, arigatou gozaimashita. Our next student is Joshua Hensel. His selected educator is Ben Gilman. Hi, my name is Joshua Hensel. My father is Michael Hensel. I plan to attend Indiana University Bloomington in the fall to study computer science. I chose Mr. Gilman as my educator because he's the coolest teacher I've ever had. However, there's so many more reasons beyond just that. <clears throat> I've always been interested in history and I feel that by taking his classes, they have greatly expanded my knowledge and my understanding of many different historical subjects. Mr. Gilman is my favorite teacher, I guess, just because he's so friendly to his students. And he makes us feel, I guess, more like friends than actual students, and it makes his class that much more easy to take. Going to Europe with him, though, is by far the greatest memory I've ever had. I remember getting lost in the Louvre with him and a few other students trying to find the Mona Lisa, which took forever, by the way. My friend Jed even managed to break an escalator, to which his reaction was priceless. Mr. Gilman has been an influence on me greater than any other teacher I could ever imagine, and I thank him greatly for that. I'm Ben Gilman, and I am honored to be chosen by Josh Hensel. Uh, I taught Josh for a lot of years, uh, either seventh or eighth grade, and then at least three years of high school. Um, Josh and I got to go to Europe together. We went to Rome and saw the Colosseum. Uh, we saw uh, the catacombs outside of Rome. We saw the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame and Paris. Uh, we took a cruise down the Seine. Um, spent a lot of time with Josh over the years. Uh, he's an absolutely amazing young man. Um, he is going to do amazing things. He is an um, incredible blend of humble and intelligent, capable and smart. Um, he is very able to listen to people and be an amazing friend, uh, while at the same time taking leadership roles and taking active roles and changing the things around him. He is uh, the type of student any teacher would want. Uh, he asks questions, he does his work, he's interested, he's excited. Uh, I believe very strongly that wherever he goes to school, whatever he does, whatever he chooses for work, uh, he will have an amazing, amazing life and uh, the sky's the limit for Josh. Um, thank you so much and I am honored by his pick. Our next student is Brenda Wazar. Her selected educator is Rhonda Lamar. Hi, I am Brenda Wazar and I am the daughter of Joaquin and Leticia Wazar. I am going to be attending Valparaiso University in the fall, majoring in nursing. And I have picked Ms. Lamar as my distinguished teacher because she has been a counselor, a mentor, and overall best friend to me. And that is why I chose Ms. Lamar. My name is Rhonda Lamar, and I am so honored to be chosen by Brenda Huizar as her educator. Brenda has been a part of the early college program for four years, and her, she has done just so tremendous in the, pro, in the program. In her freshman year, she was selected as an early college ambassador. That meant that she was going out to speak to middle school students to inspire them about the early college program. I just, I was so impressed because here she is a new student to the early college program and she was so willing to, um, to you know, partake and, and be our ambassador. 
I am just so amazed with Brenda. I have one word to describe her, and that's passionate. She is so passionate about her education, her family, her friends, and her future. Boy, it's, I have so many memories about Brenda, but my last was when we went to Valparaiso. She asked me to go to Valpo with her. She was uh, deciding on a college um, to, to attend for the nursing program, and we went. We had a great day. So that's just one of the stories that I can share. I probably would be talking forever because that's how amazing Brenda is. I am just so proud of her, so proud of her accomplishments. Um, she makes me smile all the time because she has such a bright smile. Um, the healthcare field, you guys are going to get a gem. She's going to be an awesome nurse because of her passion, her passion to help others, her care for others, her smile to heal others, and she's going to change the world. Brenda, I thank you so much. Mr. Mr. Who we are, I thank you, and congratulations to all the 2020 distinguished graduates. Our next student is Elliot Jasicki. His selected educator is Bruce Stahl. My name is Elliot Jasicki, and my parents are Ben and Kristen Jasicki. I will be attending Purdue West Lafayette this fall to major in finance and to hopefully become an investment banker. My distinguished educator was Mr. Stahl. I chose him because I had him for psychology last year and he made class really fun and enjoyable and he's a teacher that you can talk to about anything at any time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bruce Stahl. I'm here tonight. Uh, you've already been introduced. I've already been introduced probably by Elliot. Anyway, I decided I'd come up with 26 words to describe Elliot. And because I'm older, I have to have a little list. Usually I'm improv, but you know, getting kind of old. Anyway, I'm humbled by it. It's really a special thing. If you know me, it's a big deal to be selected. Uh, it, it's one of the most humbling things in, in school. That's why we teach, because of the kids. All right, so here we go. We'll start out and you'll find out it's in order. And that's a rarity for me. All right, ask Elliot. I always had the same question at least twice on every test. Anyway, A, amazing. B, the backstroke. C, he's very challenging. And I like that. He pushed me more than I pushed him. Determined he'll be what he wants to be. He is very determined, engaging, likes to be in a high-level discussion and learn about things. Finance, half of his major in college. The other part is an A word, so I can't say it. He's grateful for what he has. Anybody want to guess? Oh, no, uh, Herculean. Oof, that was a tough one. Intelligent, jovial, he's got a little S in him too, but I can't say it because it's in, not in order. Knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. Elliot's always looking for new knowledge. He's a leader. Elliot's a leader. Motivated, motivated, noteworthy. Elliot's noteworthy. He's open-minded. He wants to learn new concepts, new ideas. He is for where he's going. Purdue. Elliot is also very this, and sometimes he pushed me to where I probably couldn't answer some of the questions because they're such good questions. And that's what I just said. Look at that. I had to look again. Questionable. One thing he is, and if anybody knows him, he's reliable. He's a swimmer. All right, was on the swim team, yay raw. I think it was the 50-yard backstroke or whatever, the how they measure it. T is for tenacious. Let me have some more knowledge, Mr. Stahl, or I'm going to get you. All right, I like that. He's unique. For years, I thought it was UNIQ. All right, unique. Valuable, you want him on your team, in your classroom, being your leader, he's wonderful. For X, that's a tough one. 
Zenio. Ooh, Zenio. That's not a flower that comes out every year. All right. And why? Okay. Why is why I don't have a word for this. And Z is what Elliot hopefully appreciates about himself. He's got a little bit of humor and he's zany. Uh, so in conclusion, I'd like to thank again everybody, Elliot, everyone that's here tonight, all the board members, all the superintendents, all the principals. But again, I'm humbled by Elliot's choice of letting me come to this fine thing. And in closing, though, you know I can't stay serious forever. Uh, when Elliot talked to me about this, and you don't know if I'm being facetious or not, that's my favorite word, uh, he told me, Mr. Stahl, I had you 10th on the list of picks. So I told Elliot, man, there is no way that number 10 is going to make it. You know, I don't know if you guys know how this, how the selection goes, but I figured I'm not going to that thing. All right. How am I going to make it at number 10? So that means nine other teachers he chose were already picked when he chose it. Now, I'm teasing, guys. All right. I'm honored. I wasn't 10th. I don't know what number I was. It doesn't matter. I would, hopefully, all the distinguished graduates, you have a great life. Uh, it's going to be a new world when you guys get out of college. And good luck, everybody, and good night. Our next student is Diamond Jimerson. Her selected educator is Mary Koselke. Hello, my name is Diamond Jimerson. My parents are Kathy Jimerson and Roger Jimerson. The college I'm attending is North Central College in Naperville. I'm majoring in nursing. My distinguished educator is Mary Koselke. She teaches culinary. I chose her because she encourages me to be the best I can be, so thank you. Hi, my name is Mary Koselke and I am the chef, I'm the culinary arts teacher at AK Smith, and I'm here to represent Diamond Jimerson. Uh, two years ago, Diamond, when you walked into my room the first time, you took charge of the room as soon as you walked in and you have not stopped since. So for the last two years, I have seen you be a leader. I have seen you um, help your fellow students in learning our processes, showing them what to do. You are a true leader. I cannot wait to see what you do after you leave high school. I am so proud of you. You are powerful, you are fierce, and you keep it up. Our next student is Robert Lemon. His selected educator is Kristen Freitag. My name is Robert Lemon. My parents are Melissa Yates and Robert Lemon Sr. This fall, I'll be attending Earlham with hopes of getting a biochemistry major with hopes of becoming an anesthesiologist in the future. My distinguished educator is Ms. Freitag, and I chose her because I had her first period for the entire first semester, and she always brought a smile to my face no matter what mood I came into the classroom with. Hi, my name is Chrissy Freitag, and I am honored to be nominated by Robert Lemon. So luckily for us, this video has to be short because there's tons of adjectives we could go all day about Robert Lemon. This kid has so much potential, it's not even funny. And he has strived to do so. He has a mature look with everything that he does. Um, yes, I did say that on camera and it is videotaped. Um, he has so much potential. I am so excited for his future. He is going to bring so much to this society that uh, you can't even imagine. It has been an honor to get to know him he works hard every day. He goes above and beyond. Anybody that meets Robert Lemon has something super nice to say about this young man. So Robert, congratulations. You've worked really hard for this. And I really truly hope that you have the most success that you possibly can. You also know that you can reach to me for anything that you need in the future. I'm here for you, but the sky is the limit for you. So just keep pushing forward. So the best to you and your class of 2020. You've really rocked this. Um, best wishes. I hope you enjoy your future. Our next student is Annalise Lennard. Her selected educator is Frank Gast. Hi, my name is Annalise Lennard. Um, my mom's name is Kim Lennard and I'm going to Ball State University this fall to major in music performance on flute and minor in psychology. Um, my distinguished educator is Mr. Frank Guest. I've had him as a band director for the past three years. 
and he has shaped my life in ways that I can't even describe. Um, he has taught me confidence, ambition, and to unapologetically be myself. And without him, I would not be the person that I am today. So thank you so much, Mr. Gast. And to anybody that's looking to fill a spot in their schedule next year, please choose band. You won't regret it. Thank you. Greetings. Uh, my name is Frank Gast, and I am the high school band director here at Michigan City High School. I am completely and utterly honored to be representing uh, one of our distinguished graduates who asked me to be part of this celebration. Her name is Annalise Lennard, and she is an absolutely fabulous student. I've gotten to be able to be her teacher for the last three years, and this has been a pretty trying period, but I'm so proud to have gotten to know her. Um, she's grown leaps and bounds over the last few years, and, and I am happily proud that she'll be going to Ball State here in the fall and following her dream doing flute performance. Uh, I've seen a kid that's grown so much in terms of her positivity, her leadership, her skills, and she is going to be absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Annalise, for making this uh, a wonderful year. Thank you for letting me be a teacher who has given you some time to grow in that. And I feel truly honored that you're going to let follow in this profession and uh, do wonderful things. So good luck, best of luck, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Our next student is Mira McDaniel. Her selected educator is Victoria Gray. My name is Mira McDaniel and I am the daughter of Jason and Amy McDaniel. I have decided to attend Indiana University Bloomington next fall to major in international studies. I would like to thank all teachers and staff at Michigan City High School for supporting me these past four years. I would especially like to thank Miss Gray because she has been more than just a teacher to me. Miss Gray has taken extra time out of her day to help me whenever I need it, whether it is in her AP Environmental Science class, CISV, or whenever I'm having a bad day. She has watched me grow over the years and has motivated me to fight for what I am passionate for. Thank you, Miss Gray, for all the memories we have made and for all the laughs we have shared. Hi, my name is Victoria Gray, and I'm extremely honored and privileged to be selected by Mira McDaniel to be her distinguished educator. I have been um, having the honor and privilege to be Mira's teacher this past year in, in AP Environmental Science, but I've actually known her for the past couple of years, mainly more in our local chapter of CISV, where she, currently this year she was our JB president, which unfortunately her reign had to uh, you know, abruptly end. Um, Mira is definitely a, you know, exemplifies all of the characteristics of a distinguished grad. She is hardworking, driven, compassionate, always participates in class. I can, you know, always expect to see her coming down my very long hallway every single day with a smile, you know, even when no one's really, you know, maybe speaking up in class, I can always depend on her to at least offer her her two cents, which I always appreciate as a teacher. I'm gonna miss having Mira as a student the rest of this year, but I know she's gonna go off to do great things um, and I cannot wait to see what she's gonna you know, do with her life. Miss you, Mira, congratulations. Our next student is Dante Moreland. His selected educator is Charles Pitzer. My name's Dante Moreland. My parents are Kylie and Patrick Moreland. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to be attending Texas A&M Corpus Christi for uh, hopefully a career in marine biology, possibly nursing if I switch. Uh, my major is going to be biology. Uh, I'm bringing in Charles Pitzer as my distinguished educator. Uh, I chose him because I've been living in the theater for four years. Uh, it's a second home to me, and he's been a, a really, really uh, impactful part of my educational career. Uh, he's motivated me. He's given me chances that no one else has, and it really means a lot to me. Hello, my name is Charles Pitzer, and I am the educator for Dante Moreland. Um, my biggest experience with Dante is he's been probably the most enthusiastic person when it comes to school, and not so much the educational aspect, which he's very good at, obviously, but the athletic aspect and just the overall school experience. My best uh, memory of Dante is his uh, freshman year. Uh, he was in theater, and we had a cast member who 
basically said, I can't make two performances the week of the performance. And on Tuesday, I gave Dante a script and I said, here, memorize these lines. You're going on stage this weekend. And by the end of the day, Dante had his lines memorized and was performing on stage that night. And it was an amazing experience. And that's, that's when I knew that Dante had skill and Dante had dedication. And, you know, he is one of those kids that will, whatever he does, he'll put 110% into it and achieve whatever he wants to. So very proud of Dante. He's going into marine biology, which has nothing to do with theater. But, you know, hey, good for him. And I wish him all of the best of luck. Our next student is Amanda Ochoa. Her selected educator is Ashley Zart. Hi, I'm Amanda Ochoa. And my parents are Steve and Heather Ochoa. I'm going to be attending Purdue University, West Lafayette, studying ecology, environmental, and evolutionary biology. I chose Ms. Dar as my distinguished teacher because I felt like I could talk to her about anything. She wel welcomed me and her students into her classroom with an open heart. She made the learning very lighthearted and easy, and I'm going to miss her dearly. Hi, my name is Ashley Zart, and I was invited uh, to this by Amanda Ochoa. And I have loved Amanda Ochoa since I had her as a sophomore. She was one of the brightest in all of, all of the classes she's taken with me. She's been the top of the class, um, so much so that she would finish an assignment and other students would be like, can I see what you did? Because I don't know what's going on. I just love how much fun she brings to my classroom. Um, this last year with her as a student aide, there hasn't been a day that she um, has come in and I haven't laughed and had a good time. And I'm so excited to see where she ends up um, as she goes to Purdue next year and what things she's able to accomplish um, with her intelligence and her hard work and her fun personality. And I'm just so um, honored and um, blessed to know her and honored to be here to, to speak about her and um, just excited. Our next student is Sarah Poulin. Her selected educator is Michelle Howison. Hi, my name is Sarah Poulin. I'm the daughter of Greg and Lori Poulin, and I will be attending Purdue University West Lafayette next fall to study elementary education. I chose Mrs. Howison, my choir teacher, as my teacher because she's always there for her students. She is very passionate in her music and you can see it in the work that she does. And she always helps her students to reach their full potential. She believes in you when you don't believe in yourself. And the, when you see her face after you've completed a piece, you know that you've just done something special. Mrs. Howison have, has allowed me to explore my passion for music and I'm forever thankful for her for that. She also goes out of her way to help her students, and she is currently helping me with my audition songs so that I can audition for a choir at Purdue University. Thank you, Ms. Howison, for the past four great years and all the memories and lessons. Good evening, I'm Michelle Howison, and I want to thank Sarah Poulin for choosing me as her distinguished teacher. I've had the privilege of teaching Sarah for the past four years. When I met Sarah for the first time as a freshman, I immediately knew that there was something very special about her. Sarah had this spark the first time she sang for me. Her enthusiasm for performing was evident, and I knew that she could develop her talent into something very special. She was never afraid to tackle challenging musical literature, and she always went out of her way to help other individuals in her ensembles. Sarah was also the student who wanted everyone to do their best. Whether it was during a music or a choreography rehearsal, Sarah pushed herself and her classmates to always strive for excellence. Sarah has earned gold ratings at the district and state ISMA solo and ensemble competitions. She also took up the challenge in her junior year to perform the world premiere of Johann de May's Fifth Symphony based on The Lord of the Rings. This was no small feat because she had to learn to sing in Elfish. She tackled this challenge head on, and I know that this performance was a turning point in her musical career. Sarah has been a joy to teach. She is one of those students who makes you smile on a daily basis, and I know that I have become a better teacher because of her. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next student is Alexis Reynolds. Her selected educator is Daisy Lee. 
Hello everyone, my name is Alexis Reynolds, daughter of Brandy and Ryan Reynolds. I will be enlisting in the Air Force and I will be obtaining my degree in engineering. Today I chose my educator, her name is Daisy Lee. I met her back in my awkward teenage phases in seventh grade. She was my environmental science teacher. And when I met her, there was just an aura about her. It was just something different. When you meet someone, you just click with them. And when I met her, I just knew that I was like, I'm gonna remember this woman forever. She's became a big part of my life and I consider her family now. Without her, I would not have had all the opportunities that I did and I'm grateful that I met someone as special as her. Hello, I'm Miss Lee and I was Alexis's seventh and eighth grade environmental science teacher and volleyball coach at Krieger Middle School. I'm very honored to be Alexis's distinguished teacher today. Her class is very special to me because they are my very first seventh grade class and I couldn't have asked for a better class to start my teaching career with. One of my favorite memories of Alexis was every time she would come into my room, she would grab the door handle and jiggle it as if somebody was trying to get in but couldn't get in. And then she would open the door a little bit, close it rapidly a few times, and then finally swing the door open and then scream. And that happened every time she would come into my room and I think that tells us about her personality very well. She's fun, funny, happy, creative, and she really knows how to make people smile. She's hands down one of the coolest people that I know. She has such a caring heart. Her smile lights up the entire room. She's creative, she's intelligent, and that's not even counting being class, class vice president, co-chair of the YMCA teen board, a member of the Wolves environmental restoration team, a member of the Michigan City Youth Commission, and a member of the teen council at the Lebesnik Center. Alexis, I am so incredibly proud of you. You embody what it means to be courageous, strong, kind, a great leader, and hilarious. I can't wait to see what other amazing things you are going to do to help change the world. When I grow up, I hope to be as cool as you are. Our next student is Sarah Rissman. Her selected educator is Margaret White. Hi, my name is Sarah Rissman. My parents are Brian Rissman and Melissa Simmons. My college plans are to go to Ivy Tech for a couple years and to then move to um, a bigger university later. Uh, my major is undecided, but I am interested in the medical field. Maybe nursing or a physical therapist is something I've thought about. Um, the educator I picked was Miss White. She's very important to me. She was my eighth grade algebra teacher. Uh, she's She was one of the first teachers to really uh, make me feel like my education was about me and not for, you know, to make other people happy, you know, it was about my life and that she genuinely cared about my education. Um, she's always, she's someone who's still been supportive of me and is someone I can talk to very easily about m what I want to do or plans or, and she'll give me genuine feedback. Um, like she actually cares. So it's very important to me and she's helped me a lot through the years. Hi, I'm Peggy White and I've been chosen by Sarah Rissman. Sarah Rissman is an excellent student. So this came as no surprise to me and I'm honored to have been chosen by her. In eighth grade, anytime Sarah Rissman came up to me in the hallway, raised her hand in class, I immediately smiled because I knew whatever she was gonna say was gonna be funny or interesting or both. I'm a huge fan of Sarah Rissman. She is kind, she's thoughtful, she's funny, and she's bright. I know that she will go places. Rissman, remember to uh, find your joy and settle for nothing less. Continue to do good out in the world and know that I'm always in your corner. Well done, Rissman. Our next student is Marie Scully. Her selected educator is Angela Gresham. Hi, my name is Marie Scully and my parents' name are Precious Shannon and Marcus Scully. The college I will be attending in the fall is University of Indianapolis for nursing. The distinguished educator I chose was Miss Angela Gresham. I chose Miss Gresham because she's just a positive person to be around. Every time I see her in the hallway, she smiles at me and I smile right back at her. I was in her class um, anatomy and physiology class junior year and I loved the way she taught. Um, she chose to do hands-on material and that's that was a good way for me to learn. Um, I remember going up to her desk one day and asked her for help with an assignment and she told me I was a really hard-working student and that instantly made me smile. From then 
I've been motivated to work really hard in high school and I just really appreciate her. Thank you, Ms. Gresham. Hi, my name is Angela Gresham and I am here at the request of Marie Scully as my distinguished student. And I can't possibly do justice to Marie in a, in a short amount of time, but the thing that you need to know about her, everyone knows she's an amazing student, but you need to know just how kind and sweet she is. Um, that her passion for health goes out into the community, that as her church, she serves as a church nurse, and she also um, serves as giving healthy shakes and um, teaches about um, how to take care of yourself and how to um, have good, be in good health to people out in the community for free. So anyway, I just want you to know what a passionate and sweet person she is. Our next student is Omar Serrano. The selected educator is Christy Stewart. My name is Omar Serrano and my parents' names are Luis and Maria Serrano. And this fall, I will be attending Indiana University Bloomington and I'll be, I'll be majoring in business management. My di distinguished teacher of choice was Miss Stewart. Miss Stewart was my favorite English teacher I've had in all my years of high school. But besides just being my favorite, she helped me with everything I needed. With all of my college essays, with just stuff in my personal life, she was always there for me. She always cared. She, I appreciate her so much for everything she did for me and the days we had together. Thank you, Miss Stewart. Hi, I'm Christy Stewart. I would like to thank Omar Serrano for choosing me as a distinguished teacher. Omar is a student who exemplifies dedication and positivity in the classroom, with family, work, and sports. Throughout the year, Omar has worked hard to achieve many goals. He takes the time to think through the process and works hard until he is successful. He's willing to reevaluate what he has done and values input from others. These traits really showed through while I was working with Omar on scholarship essays. He always took suggestions to heart, revised, and continued to work draft after draft until it truly reflected who he was and what he is capable of achieving. These qualities ensure the bright future ahead of Omar, and I am proud to have had him as a student. Congratulations, Omar. Our next student is Reese Shirley. The selected educator is Amanda Stolarz. Hi, my name is Reese Shirley. I'm the daughter of Stacey and Stephen Shirley. I plan on attending Indiana University East next year to play volleyball. I'm not quite sure of my major next year, but I'm hoping maybe social work or business. And I chose Ms. Stolars as my educator because last year I decided to play tennis, which was outgoing for me and something out of my comfort zone. And she helped me kind of evolve in that and be comfortable in who I was and what I was doing. And she's always very supportive. And I felt like I could tell her everything and she would come back with good advice with me. Hello, my name is Amanda Stolars, and I was gratefully chosen as the distinguished teacher for distinguished student Reese Shirley. Uh, the first time I met Reese, we actually didn't know each other immediately. We met at a ladies' luncheon for women in sports. I, uh, it was her and Hannah Novorotsky at the table, and I thought, man, I want both of them on the tennis team so bad. They're some of the best athletes. And I unfortunately never had the chance to teach her in class, but she tried out junior year 2019 season for tennis and she just soared, all right? She, I don't even think it was the end of the week before she was bumped up to the varsity court. She is by far the best athlete I have ever coached so far in my life. She's also the best mentally out there. It's really hard to teach mental, mental toughness, um, especially to girls this young who have, um, you know, maybe other things that they're worrying about, but mental toughness in Reese will only help her with her success at IU East in the future. I wish you nothing but the best of luck and congratulations. Our next student is Megan Steinheiser. Her selected educator is Linda Meyer. Hi, my name is Megan Steinheiser. I'm the daughter of Christy and Patrick Steinheiser. I'll be attending Earlham College in the fall to major in biology. My distinguished educator is Ms. Meyer. I'd pass her in the hallway every day and she'd say hello and encourage me to do my best. Good evening, I'm Linda Meyer. I am privileged and honored to have been asked by Megan Steinheiser to be her guest. I have prepared a poem as my remarks for Megan. This poem is for Megan, one of our distinguished grads, to tell of her accomplishments and the success that she has had. By first accounts, she might seem quiet or maybe even shy. 
but confidence is built in her. There's nothing she won't try. In her spare time, there is so much she really likes to do. Her passion is for rescue pets, animal shelters, and the zoo. She loves 4-H and shows her horses at the fair. In local 4-H programs, her presence is often there. But what do Megan's teachers say about this distinguished guest? She is detailed, always focused, motivated to do her best. She is driven, empathic, and most important, kind. She is quietly intuitive, yet gently speaks her mind. Megan's also made her mark in involvement here at City. Spell Bowl Captain, Japanese Club, and Honor Society. She is Science Club President, just to name another function, and she managed the stage crew for theater productions. She's smart, diligent, and most of all, passionate. This is one of the reasons she is a distinguished graduate. And while this final year ends in a very unusual way, Megan, I hope you leave with memories of many happy days. So put on your cap and don your gown and move that tassel over. Celebrate with your family and don't leave feeling somber. Everyone, including me, is cheering for you today. You've made your mark on City and you've earned this in every way. Off to Earlham you will go, taking with your favorite horse. I know you're on your way, a veterinarian, of course. Please know how proud I am of you and the graduates of this class. With Google Meets behind you, you're on your way at last. Congratulations, Megan. Our next student is Nathan Stevenson. His selected educator is Monica Hanley. Hi, my name is Nathan Stevenson. I'm the son of Tom and Michelle Stevenson. I plan on attending Indiana University in the fall semester, and I'm going to major in business. I chose Mrs. Hanley because she has always supported me and helped me plan my future. And whenever I needed time, uh, she would set aside extra time to help schedule it, and she pushed me to take the extra AP classes to get me to where I am today. Hi, I'm Monica Hanley, and I would like to thank Nathan Stevenson for choosing me as a distinguished teacher. Nathan is a hardworking, high-achieving, motivated student. It has been a pleasure to teach and get to know Nathan through the years. I am so proud of all of his accomplishments. He embodies the characteristics of a young man who is able to manage and demonstrate success in both the classroom and on the field. He is able to excel as a student, athlete, and community member while maintaining a positive attitude and clear goals for his future. Nathan demonstrates outstanding moral character in his respect for others' opinions, dedication to his own success, and to the success of his family and community, which I respect. And if there is one thing that sets Nathan apart from all others, it is his hair. But most importantly, it is his heart. His warm, caring personality and his drive to achieve every goal and dream he has created for his future is inspiring. So to Nathan, remember this quote from Henry David Thoreau, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined and remember those you meet along the way are part of your journey. And I am so happy that you've been part of mine. Congratulations. Our next student is Braden Tepper. His selected educator is Linda Swedenberg. Hello, my name is Braden Tepper. My mother's name is Tiffany Tepper. This fall, I'll be attending Wabash College, um, majoring in engineering. The educator I chose was Linda Swedenberg. The reason I chose Miss Swedenberg is because she's always seen something in me that even I don't see in myself. In sixth grade, she, I had her for one week and she realized that I didn't belong in her math class. I tested out and since then, I've been ahead in every math and English class that I've been taking. This year, when she realized that I was falling a bit behind in school, she emailed me. She offered me to study at her house every day after school. And of course, I took that. And since then, our relationship has grew even further. Thank you. Um, my name is Linda Swedenberg, and I am so honored and privileged to be here to accept this award. Being a retired educator of 45 years, I always tried to be the best teacher I could, 
but my goal was to inspire those young minds that happened to be sitting in my classroom. Braden, I'm sad you can't be standing here next to me today, so I brought this picture, hoping that you are listening to my words. I applaud your success. Your value of learning will take you into the next phase of your life. Braden, you are able to think globally and oftentimes out of the box. You never settle for the ordinary. You look for answers to questions many of us leave unanswered. Your ideas make you a valuable teammate as well as an opponent. Others strive to do their best by following your example. You are a kind young man. Your ability to look for the positive qualities in life and everyone around you is an asset that will help you grow even more. Your sense of family and its importance is a great example to all of us. Don't ever forget where you came from, but remember to keep your eye on where you're going. My friend, I am so glad you will be attending Wabash. It just seems to be a perfect fit for you. I know you are anxious about this journey, but believe me, you are ready. You have the intelligence and talent to do well at Crawfordsville. I am sure you will be a productive member of that campus and will use all you have learned to make a difference there. The, there is one thing I want you to remember. If you begin to doubt yourself, I am a phone call away. My car knows the way to Wabash, so a visit is not out of the question. I will continue to be your cheerleader, and I will hold you to that promise of a ticket when you graduate from college. Good luck, Braden. Continue to believe in yourself, and remember, sometimes it's not how you start, but how you finish. Finish strong. Our next student is Ryan Upatal. His selected educator is Heather Kessler. My name is Ryan Upatel. My parents' names are Brian and Heidi Upatel. I will be an electrician after I graduate. And uh, my distinguished educator is Mrs. Kessler. I chose her because she came in at the beginning of the year with not even a lesson plan and taught us all government. Hi, my name is Heather Kessler and I was chosen by Ryan Upatel. And um, when I first found out that Ryan was going to be a distinguished scholar, I was just like, yeah, of course. And I started trying to think of all the nice things I wanted to say about Ryan. And the problem wasn't coming up with the nice things. It was that I felt like they had all been said before. Um, you know, you're a hard worker and you show up every day ready to go and you're a natural leader and you always give 100%. All of the things that we say about amazing students like you that make it awesome every day to walk into class. So I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to get to know you, um, whether we were talking about current events or politics or obsessing over wrestling weight classes, um, which we spent a good two months doing. I, I enjoyed not just getting to know you as a student, but getting to know you as a person. And I have so much confidence in your future. And I know I'm proud of you, and I only got to know you for a couple of months, so I can only imagine how your family feels for you. So best of luck in the future, and I cannot wait to see what you have in store for both yourself and for our country. Our next student is Dawson Van Buskirk. His selected educator is Julie Geyer. Hi, my name is Dawson Van Buskirk. My parents are Candy and Todd Van Buskirk. I plan on attending DePaul University in the fall, studying international studies in Spanish. Um, my distinguished educator is Mrs. Geyer. I chose her because she was always there for help for me, whether it was with school related or outside of school. Um, and we worked super closely together um, with the LGBTQ plus club. So that was super awesome too. Hi, I am Julie Geyer and that amazing young man, whichever one he just came from, is Dawson Van Buskirk and he chose me and I am truly honored and feel even more privileged since I was actually not one of Dawson's teachers. Dawson was the president of the PRISM Club here at Michigan City High School, which I sponsor. He had bold ideas and ambitions for our club. He was a great leader and will be sorely missed. His opinions and outspokenness are probably what makes us kindred spirits. All of this being said, don't think that Dawson isn't also a fun and silly kid. He is quick to laugh, sing along to a song, and most definitely dance. I am not sure where he got his dance skills, but they are definitely legendary. I'd like to thank Dawson's parents, Todd and Candy, for raising an amazing child who is kind, smart, caring, and community focused. I'd also like to thank you for sharing him with me. I knew I was gonna cry. Okay, 
Dawson has a very bright future ahead of him. He's going to DePaul in the fall and will undoubtedly bring his flair and personality to campus. So watch out, Chicago. As a teacher, we always wonder what our students do after they leave us. I know Dawson will do amazing things and I can't wait to see where his life takes him. Our next student is Andre Williams. The selected educator is Megan Glaze. Hello, my name is Andre Williams and my parents' names are Andre Williams Sr. and Sarah Forsyth. The college I'll be attending is PNW and I'll be majoring in aerospace engineering. My distinguished educator is Mrs. Glaze or Megan Glaze. Uh, she's one of the youngest teachers I know at this school and she is always, con I've always connected with her on a personal level. We've always had funny conversations and she's a great teacher. Thank you, Ms. Glaze. Hi, I'm Megan Glaze and I am here on the behalf of Andre Williams. And one of the great things about Andre is that he's in the early college program and he is also heavily involved in band which led him to my class. There was a scheduling conflict, um, which he couldn't take band and be in the early college chemistry class. So I was fortunate enough for him to continue his passion with music and end up with me. Um, no matter what mood him and I were in, anytime he walked in, we were able to make each other laugh. And the class was just so much more fun with him in it. And I am so proud of everything that he has done and will continue to do in the future. And finally, our last student is Andrea Zachnoon. Her selected educator is Adam Goble. Hi, I'm Andrea Zachnoon. I'm the daughter of Andre and Nisreen Zachnoon. This fall, I'm attending Indiana University in Bloomington to study nursing. I chose Mr. Goble because he's a very fun teacher. He made a lot of games for us and we won prizes throughout his class. Um, after I was in his class, I also student aid for him and he helped me with homecoming, college applications, and scholarship, scholarship applications. So thank you for helping me out in my high school career. My name is Adam Goble, and I'm here for Andrea Zachnoon. Uh, well, it's been four years for you. Uh, what a way to go out. I'm here to honor uh, Andrea. Uh, she is one of the hardest working students I've ever had. I had Andrea as an honors chemistry student her sophomore year, and she's been hanging out in my class ever since. Uh, whether it was because she was hungry or thirsty or just looking for a place to go when A.K. Smith was not work or going on. Uh, she was always found a way to say hello. Andrea didn't always take from me. She also uh, brought me many things, whether it was part of her lunch or some sort of dessert that she made. She always tried to make me taste her exotic foods uh, that her mother made. It's a surprise to most people. Uh, change and you know surprises are not my favorite thing. Uh, but she always made me uh, have it, whether it was those grape leaf things. I'm not exactly sure what they were called, um, but she kept getting me them. I wish you all the success whenever you go to IU, and I hope everything's well. This evening we have heard many wonderful words, talent, head and shoulders above the crowd, outstanding students and outstanding educators, but I'd really like to thank all of them for the work that they've all done and well-deserved for being named to this ceremony this evening. But most of all, I wanna thank the parents. Parents, you are the first teachers of the students. Without you and your support, they could not and we could not accomplish our goals to educate our students in Michigan City. We thank you and we thank the teachers and we thank your students for being such wonderful representatives of Michigan City High School, the city of Michigan City, and wherever they go, they will represent us all very well. Thank you again for joining us. Good night.